good morning guys so, um from this month i've decided to start sharing videos of my my life in the uk a lot of people have been talking about how it is to um relocate abroad and how it affects your mental health how very difficult it is i decided to show you guys what it feels like to live alone to be alone and to stay alone <laughs> <laughs> why i say live alone live alone is different from staying alone like since i when i moved to the uk i was in england england was okay because you know my family my uncle my aunties they could pop in once in a while to say hi friends could pop in then i relocated to scotland in scotland i don't have any friend i don't know anybody i'm just here the only people i talk to are my colleagues at work i don't talk to any other person so guys today is friday the friday that two face wife decided to bring their matter on instagram so i've been on my bed i've been checking instagram i know there was a fight between boma and angel on b on big brother so i've just been trying to catch up with all those things <laughs> that's what i do really trying to catch up on instagram and insta vlog and gist lover and the rest of the crew just trying to see what's going on i know my opinion about if people should bring their stuff their personal life on social media i don't know i'm showing you guys my personal life so <laughs> i'm showing you guys my life so why would i have an opinion about someone bringing their personal life on social media to each their own so i believe the first thing i need to do is to get off from this bed right but i'm a lazy ass but i feel like it's it's 10 i need to like get up and do some other things i need to do today what do i have to do today first of all i need to eat i'm making singapore noodles i've added hot water into my rice stick i'm going to sieve that away i'll be adding some sesame oil to the pan and i'll be adding some pepper to the oil and i'll allow it to fry as the Yoruba girl that I am, I have to add pepper to it, yeah? I'll be adding some ginger and garlic mix into the pepper. I'm just going to mix that together there. Then I'm going to be seasoning my pepper with just Maggi. Just a seasoning cube. We call it Maggi. <laughs> Every seasoning cube is Maggi. But I'm just going to be adding seasoning cube to the pepper and allow it to cook a little bit more. So I'll be adding chicken breast to the pepper and I'll allow that to cook together. I'm just adding some chicken breast to the pepper. I'll allow that to cook for a while and I'll add some diced onions to each fresh onions to the chicken breast and pepper. After then I'll add my vegetables. I have some bell peppers, carrots, spring onions so they are green pepper red pepper yellow pepper and carrots and onions that's spring onions i'll just add it there to the mix just then i added my oyster sauce and some dark soy sauce and some extra dark soy sauce <laughs> just different brand so added oyster sauce dark soy sauce and some maggi um liquid Maggi sauce there and added some white pepper a pepper to the mix and I gave it a good stir after then I added some shrimps to the mix I added some shrimps there just to mix that in then after it I added my rice sticks and I said before the rice sticks were already put in water hot water then I added some extra soy sauce and oyster sauce because there's no seasoning in the because there's no seasoning in the white rice stick so i needed to make sure that it's well flavored and i gave it a good mix mix it together guys seafood now seafood ah good man waiting for it to dry up this is dried see him yeah. 
Come on, come on, dance. She ain't dressed for an older brother. For a man and a man. She ain't dressed for an older brother. Everything is what tantalizes. You're wondering, like, the more, why is the more others do the making of us fall? Let me teach you. I'm just waiting for the food to dry because I really like my spark frying. There was a lot of water, so it's just trying. That's why I'm still mixing. Just still waiting for it to dry there. These are the sun's rising. These are the sun's rising. So guys, today I want to like discuss one of the major struggles I've had since I moved to the UK. When I got to work and I shared with my colleagues that I started a vlog, all of them insisted that, oh, I post videos of how I do my makeup and how I fix my different hairstyles and they are so, like, they are so interested in, in seeing that. So the reason why this is a struggle for me was when I was back home, I never got to fix my hair myself. I never got to make my hair myself. There are salons everywhere for that. And there was a long period of time where I was even on low cost and all I had to do was just to fix wigs on my hair. But I got to the UK and, you know, there's nobody. I live all by myself. I live alone and <laughs> sadly for me i have to like make my hair myself i have to do my cornrows myself even if i have to put on a wig i have to wash my hair myself which is really stressful i'm fixing this hair but i'm really fixing like in a very different flow as i said it's already pre-installed that means i've installed it i've cut it before i've installed it to my hair and my hair is packed it's still it's still quite moist the air is quite moist it's looking nice i love it <laughs> i don't love it it's natural uh, i think fussy i don't know who grades this thing but i think they graded me to fussy that's like the air that actually rolls back i'm going to do corn rolls that's the first thing i'm going to do i'll try to do i always try to do like 12 four year four year four year 12 corn rolls try to do my corn rolls but it's just quite straightforward you take your comb you line all the way to the back and you just try to weave it one after the other that's i don't know if you can't do that you can just pick just a section of your hair and just twist or tiny twist so that the wig sits on the head you don't want your weave or your twist to be too big and if you can't do that i'm very sorry for you maybe you should just learn before you travel to the abroad I know my friend right now that is back in Nigeria and she's learning <laughs> how to make cornrows. So learn. If you if you're a fast learner like me, you can watch some couple videos on YouTube on how to make perfect cornrows. I don't make perfect cornrows by the way, but I just make cornrows. Make sure you share. She does the all back, all back, all back. So I'm gonna use this coconut spray when I'm doing my hair because it's water based and it's like coconut oil with spray. You can use any water you can use um you can mix water with some conditioner and some essential oils into a spray bottle and just spray your hair anytime you are doing the cornrows especially if you're on natural hair you want to just spray your hair and make sure that like it's not dry so that your hair doesn't go hot when you're combing it but i'm going to try and create like the first row like i said i'm going to do four year pick up my hair that's my hair there all the way to the back try to pick just a little at the back and that's it the hair you want to make sure that you can pick up something just make sure that there's something because you can't see the back of your hair you can only see the front right i can't see the back i only see the front so i want to make sure there's something i can pick at the back i want to make sure that the line is straight to an extent you just want to make something that's that can let the wig sit and when you're combing, remember to always comb from the tip of the hair down to the root of the hair. From the tip down to the root. And always hold your hair when combing. Always hold your hair when combing. So, so this is just the section I want to make. Just pick the hair and just weave it one after the other until you want to weave it like small small why am i closing my eyes when i'm moving i'm going to try to move closer to so a mirror because i think i'm doing rubbish yeah and it's not lined out yeah so let's just try to move closer to a mirror it's okay to always 
make your hair lose it again make your hair lose it again that's like me i've collected phd in that one every time i make my hair there's always one fault i'll still lose it again and that's fine as like i said when i was in nigeria i don't used to make my hair so it's not something like i'm an expert in it's something i just learned so if you just want to try 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 until you get it the last crochet i just lose now i did it twice <laughs> i did it twice this is the first one i did so now i'm going to have to lose this hair again from the beginning and start all over again so that's one of the stress of living abroad so if you want to come abroad just be ready they're going to make your hair all by yourself sitting down hours making the hair and finding out it didn't chill I don't feel like the second most annoying thing for me is the fact that my hair is really full like it's really really full and it frustrates me sometimes so when I get here and I have to like do like this my head is now big again so it's like I'm done with my corn rolls. As I said, I have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Even with the 12, you can see that the ones in the middle here, they're actually still big. So I can't do more than 12 because my hands will be pinning me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to add some oil, this oil, like olive oil, to just the root of my hair. To make sure that. Anytime I add anything to the root of my hair, it's always giving me like this relaxing feel. Yeah, I don't cut the my recap again. I just wear it like this. If I'm going to take this comb here, I'm just going to put it on the cap at this point here. This doesn't turn out well. Good luck to me. Good luck. This glue, I'll put it. Okay, it's already coming. I'll just I want to do it. I'll put it here. I'm going to just like this. On a normal day, I just if I'm rushing to work, I'll just use just this glue. Now, fix the hair. If I'm in a rush. Then I'm going to put this all over my hair for the extra grape. Let me remove this. So although this cap will still be on till tomorrow, just going to show you guys what the finished product look like. Ooh, that look like. Still want this to be this way, so I'll still put on the cap. Step as I'm fixing my wigs. This is too stressful for you. Just go for closure wigs with a little bit of frontal. 